that was very much clear and it was predicted earlier enough uh, is that you know was Charles should be ready for uh, the worst because one thing that's very much clear Harry and Meghan set a standard set the pace uh, you know also looking at what or how the lad princess Diana was received acknowledged and uh, recognized it was very much evident that thanks won't work for their expectation and i don't want to laugh but tell just uh just see this there was a ton of events i expected that people to be protesting out there i expected this to happen and that's why i did a whole piece or rather in kamina uh, flop flop awaiting and they had a chance they had a choice to just serve themselves this embarrassment but why didn't they Powerful words are from Senator Lydia Trapp to King Charles today. She gave him her peace of mind. Yes, she did. And it was worth the entire audience, you know, just looking astonished because she was speaking out facts. She was speaking out facts. The expectation of having people to say, not my king, abolish the monarchy, done with the crown, happened yes it did yes it did senator lydia this is not your land those were her words to him you committed that you know genocide against our people give us our, give us our land back give us what you stole from us our bones our skulls our babies our people you destroyed our land give us a trinity we want uh, you know the trinity of this country you are a guinocelist this is not your land you are not my king you are not our king and uh just allow me play you the clip just allow me play you the clip so that you can see looking at the crowd and how you know people are fumbling and looking at each other people are just like you know what we didn't see this coming just look at how everyone is silent the entire crowd was silenced by her voice and after that she went ahead and did an interview and she spoke the reason asked why she did what she did she saw need she saw that you know what these people need to be told and if i won't then some people won't do it because uh, this one indeed uh, took uh, courage this one indeed took courage and people are just like you know what i'm really proud of her an australian uh, with big balls how can your country be run by this lazy and uneducated people who don't even care about uh, you most of the time they know absolutely nothing about uh, australia they know nothing absolutely to do with all these countries that they tend to want to say of how, you know, they lead, they are part of the Commonwealth, so they have her say to them and what not and what forth. They had a chance to serve themselves this embarrassment, but they chose not to. It's like, you know what, they were kind of getting ready. And if you want to know that matters have gotten this serious, tell me why the one, the people who are able to capture this uh, incident, it's like they've been uh, pointed out and told uh, to delete uh, those videos. Hence, uh, people love to say that, you know what, I'm reposting this video because uh, it was suddenly deleted. Uh, but uh, you know what, Senator said it all. You're not our king. This is not your land. She is very much representing the strong feeling over indigenous Australians. She was talking for some other 90% of people who probably don't have the courage 
they had a chance to save themselves uh, this but they chose to go see it for themselves and yeah that's it that's it uh, king charles address uh, to australian parliament uh, was uh, protested by senator and i'll be playing you a clear but watch the moment the uk king charles is hugged you know by independent senator as uh, he finished uh, a speech in australia where he is had uh, to start and this is what you know lydia had uh, to say that was when uh, you know charles was almost getting done And uh, if they are so mature, what she's saying, uh, you know, and wrong, uh, why are they trying? Uh, why were they kind of trying to remove her out? Like, she has a right. She has a right uh, to protest and speak out. Because at the end of the day, it's uh, their country. It's uh, their nation. She has the whole right all to herself you know but they aren't ready they are never ready you know for that trip they are never just listen after that we'll continue to resist the colony until we have a peacemaking treaty where we can celebrate this country together we don't need a king from another country to dictate to us what we do here period we don't need a, another king from another country to dictate to us here. Very powerful words. Like, I'm just like, you know what, spot on. On point. Speak it out. Say it once again. Because, wow. That one is very courageous. That one was uh, worth. Worth. The entire session. I don't know what's your tag, but myself, I expected such a thing to happen. And that's why from the beginning, the fact that they wanted to go there, hoping that, you know what, they'll get the same reception that the Lord Princess Diana used to get. Uh, that, you know what, um, the Duke and the Duchess of Sussex uh, get uh, whenever they go anywhere. But they were received with uh, from from their entrance from their arrival whereby they do have people out there to receive them the reception the first day impression wasn't right wasn't good spoke it all it said at all i just want to say bravo and bravo and bravo it just happened the the expected happened because i wouldn't say it was unexpected. It was expected. And yes, it did happen. From my own perspective, I don't know what's your tech. Just let me know your thoughts in the comment section. And have been your host, Farmish Rayford.